Hi, in this video, we will see that if a given number is not a perfect square number, what is the least number that we need to subtract from it to make it a perfect square number? In the previous video, we have already seen what is the least number that has to be multiplied or divided to make a perfect square number. So in this video, we will see what is the least number that needs to be subtracted to make the given number a perfect square number. Let us see this through an example. Find the least number that must be subtracted from 5607 so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square number. So this is sure that 5607 is not a perfect square number. So let us first try to find out the square root of 5607 using the division method. The first step is to put the bars. So we start from the ones digit and put the bars on the pair of digits. And now the largest square number which divides 56 is 7 square. So 7 sevens are 49. 56 minus 49 is 7. We take down the entire pair. We have a 707 here and whatever is written here has to be added again. So 7 plus 7 is 14. Now, let us try to fill in the block here. So, we do 144 fours are. How much is 144 fours are? 144 fours are this 576. And whatever we write in the block has to be added here. 707 minus 576 gives us 131 as our remainder. Okay. So, 131 is the remainder. Now, the least number that must be subtracted from 5607, this is the number that's remaining. So, if we remove that number from 5607, whatever we should get should be a perfect square number. Let us see that 5607 minus 131 gives us 5476. Correct? And 5476 is nothing but the square of 74. So I hope this is clear that whenever the least number that must be subtracted is asked, you take out that number, find the square root using the division method, look at the remainder and subtract that remainder from the dividend, the dividend from which we have to subtract the least number and the least number that has to be subtracted is nothing but the remainder. Remainder is something extra. So if we subtract the remainder from 5607, we get a 5476, which is the square of 74. I hope this question is clear. Let us see one word problem. There are 500 children in a school. For a PT drill, they have to stand in such a manner that the number of rows is equal to number of columns. How many children would be left out in this arrangement? So, if our arrangement is where the number of rows, these are the rows. Okay, so suppose there are x rows and there are x columns. So, the total number which will be fitting in this arrangement is x times x, which is x square. And apart from this, how many students are left out? We have to find out. We don't know how many students are left out. So, this x square plus the students that are left out is equal to the total number of children in the school which are 500. Okay, we have to find out how many students are left out. So, what we do is first we take the number of children and we will try to find the square root of this. We will form the pairs. So, 2 square is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. We take down both the zeros down. 2 plus 2 is a 4. Now we do 42. 2 is 84. We are left with a 16 here. And we add 2 here to get a 44. Okay. So what do we see? That 500 can be written as square of 22 which is this here and how many are remaining 16 are remaining correct 
This means that we can have 22 rows and 22 columns. The number of students that are fitting in this 22 rows and 22 column are 484 students and there are 16 students that will be left out. Okay, so that's nothing but the remainder which you get when you find the square root using the division method. Okay, I hope this much is clear to everyone. In our next video, we will see what is the least number that has to be added to form a perfect square number. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.